Hi everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. Today is just going to be a little chat and a little bit of a vlog style post really. Um, giving you a bit of some updates on what's going on um, next next weekend. So you'll see this today will be Sunday for you. Um, next weekend I'm at Stratford on Avon, um, the International Camper Van and Overlander Show. And you will see me there with my van Kobe. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. And there's still a couple of videos to come out on that. Um, one of them is the painting video. Now I've painted the vehicle. Um, I'm going to show you quickly in a minute, give you a quick sneak peek of that, but there'll be a video coming out on that. And while I'm at Stratford, I'm going to be doing a van tour of Kobe for everybody because I know a couple of people have asked about that now. Um, so watch out for that after the weekend. Not this weekend, next weekend. But yeah, so before I say any more, let's go and have a quick look at the paint job. I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek because I don't want to spoil it. So bearing in mind my van was white. Not no more, it's not. Not no more, it's not. Being a van life type channel, I do like to put out personal vlogs now and again. So just a bit of a life update, workshop update, a me update. I wish I did an update for me, that's for sure. So, but a lot's been going on here. Um, I know not so much van building has been put out lately, but um, the bed build has been put out, two parts of the bed build on uh, traffic. So, should we go and have a quick look around the workshop and show you the rest of the workshop to see what's going on? And now I've got a bit of a surprise for you. Right, so, still a bit of a mess in here, really. Hetty's now got a floor. I've got a video coming out on the floor that I put in that. Not a lot's happened to Buster. There's a whole load of new seats there. And you know they're not out of that. So yeah, um, obviously my van now finished. The traffic's still over there, waiting to be finished. And that out there, that's my new one. And again, We've stripped that out. There's the dis dis disabled lift. There's a lot going on here at the moment. Um, it's sort of jumping from one vehicle to another. I definitely butter off more than I can chew here, without a doubt. And it's just one of those things. I love this lifestyle. Obviously with this update, I've got a little bit of news to tell you. Now, I'm selling my van, which has just had the paint job. That will be up for sale. And I've bought the bigger bus. Now, I wanted a bigger bus, not just because I wanted a bigger bus. There is a reason. Um, not just because I'm a big chunky fella, part of the reason. You're probably wondering why. Well, I'm going to join the rest of the van life community out there and be a full-time van lifer. Yes, giving up bricks and mortar, everything that I own, apart from the workshop and my truck. And yep, I'm going to live in my van. I refuse to pay any more bills. I'm not going to pay any more rent, not going to pay any more electric, gas, water. I'll buy it by the bottle. But yeah. Um, as far as living in a house, I don't want to do that. I want to live in a van. So that's why I've got a bigger bus. Um, it's been on my mind for a long, long time. Before I bought my first van, I was tempted about the idea. More scared than anything. But to be honest with you, you know, people are going to probably think I'm mad. Especially with this new bill coming out and or they're trying to push through about trespassers but you know hey ho I'll give it a go and um, this new bus I think is the perfect one to do it in I might tag the van tour on the end of this I don't know I'm, I'm not too sure I might just do that as a separate video to be honest with you and um, leave that for a much later date because I've got enough uh, content going on in there at the moment for you and then put that out as a series of videos once I've started the build so yeah, I'm going to become a van lifer. I'm quite excited about it really. 
and you know basically waking up when I, where I want when I want and yeah I still gonna have to go to work like everybody else you know still got to put food on the table fuel in the bus insurance tax repairs right so I've had a very productive day today painting the van and it's finally had two coats it looks really good uh, well you just saw it for yourself didn't you so but going back to this living in a van thing it's not a thing it's a life it's a lifestyle change and people might say at my age I must be absolutely nuts but do you know what <clears throat> it's been in my blood all my life and the only way I can describe it is I've always had ants in my pants can't sit, I can't sit still for five minutes but you know we all everyone's different if the world was a you know if everyone in this world was the same it'd be a very very boring place and I'm far from a boring person so much further from being boring I lead what I would say quite an exciting life a very happy one as I've explained in one of my other vlogs before but this is me and I've decided to put it all out there on YouTube and you know what I don't care and the excitement for me this week is going to Stratford next week to the International Camper Van and Overland Show. So looking forward to that. Um, I've also been asked by one of my subscribers about something else going on at the end of July, Motorfest. So definitely going to be going to that one as well. Um, hopefully going to hear about tickets for that one soon. Um, that sounds really interesting. And I would like my new bus ready for that, but there's no chance. Um, unless I worked on it seven days a week, sort of 12, 14 hours a day. And I've got to have a life at some point. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be taking some pennies with me to this show. And as I understand, there's lots of goodies there. So I might even find some new bits and pieces for the new van. <coughs> Um, it's going to be very, very interesting. And obviously I'll be taking the camera with me. And obviously we'll uh, be showing you around the show. What's there, what's available. Hopefully we can get a sneak peek at a few people's vans. Maybe do a van tour or two. And yeah, I'm really excited. Because obviously for the past God knows how long, because of the old pandemic. Um, you know, we ran to do bugger all. We can't go, we couldn't go anywhere. And you know, I wanted to be a bit safe, try and be a bit sort of careful, follow the rules a little bit. Anyway, back to the subject of living in a van. I said it's very exciting, but it's very scary as well. And the thing is, I'm a bit of hoarder of stuff. I say hoarder, I'm not that bad where I, I can't move in my home. But I tend to keep a lot of stuff and, you know, I know a lot of people, if they haven't used it for six months, haven't seen it for six months, and they fight and, you know, they have a clear out, it goes. I'm pretty much the same with all of my stuff, really. But, um, yeah, when I look at what I've got, what do you get rid of and what do you keep? You know, clothes, it's, not, it's nothing to do with labels, it's just clothes. I've got so many clothes, and I've got enough shoes, trainers and footwear and, you know, I, and when I look at what I have got, it's like I could have three or four houses and not run out in each of them. So, and you know, it's not that I'm attached to everything, but you do get attached to stuff. So yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. So it does have that very, very, very scary feel. And... I suppose I'm gonna to have to have a real big clear out. Hopefully I've got one or two people that I can leave stuff at their houses, just in case, you know. And I understand a lot of people put stuff in storage for a little while and then clear the storage unit out bit by bit, you know. Um, yeah. It's gonna be an interesting lifestyle change. But I just, I'm so excited about it, I really am. 
I might go on about it, but it's the truth. And so then I'll be looking for all the new Wi-Fi setup for it and to get the best sort of signal possible. I've got uploading videos and that. Um, park outside McDonald's and rob their Wi-Fi or somewhere else. I know a lot of people do that. But you know, you do what you can to survive. And I like the sound of that. I like a challenge. And that is gonna be a very, very much a big challenge. Well, anyway. I'm going to disappear for a moment. I will come back to you while I'm driving because I'm going for quite a long drive. Um, but I need to grab myself a coffee. Because if you haven't worked out already, I'm a bit of a Costa freak. So yeah, so it's time for me to get a Costa. And a cold drink as well. So I'll be back to you shortly. Uh, I nearly lost my coffee. The lid's come off. <clears throat> Without I got rid of the old one. nearly a two hour drive. But I'm not gonna talk for two hours. I think I'll bore you to tears. Right, full time van life. Yes. Okay. Do you know, as we do that, there's a yellow transit going past me, which is a camper. There's camper vans everywhere, everywhere I look. And do you know they say you never used to notice these things? I've always noticed them, but I'll tell you something, the past year, year and a half, the amount of campers on the road now is astronomical. What am I gonna miss most about living in a van, about from living in a house? There's only one real big thing I will miss. And that's a bar, because I do like a good bar. Um, it's all about feeling clean. Showers make you feel clean, but I do love soaking in the bath. Again, use friends and families and to use their bath. There's people out there that let me go and use their bath. And no doubt I'll end up staying with friends now and again. Just because I'm a full-time van life, I don't have to stop what I'm doing at the moment. I do stay away from home, I do, you know, for work and bits and pieces. And I can stay with them or in my van, it doesn't matter. But that's my biggest, biggest thing that I will miss, would be bar, a bar. So, again, having a shower in a van. Now, my van will have a shower. But like most vans, you're restricted to the amount of water that you have on board. So, to solve that issue, I've decided to build a recirculating or recycling shower, whichever you want to call it. So I will have a separate little waste tank for my shower and that water will recirculate through a three-stage filter system and a UV filter. So effectively it will come out as good enough to drink. Not that I'd want to drink it. And you know, the UV filter may be a bit of an overkill, but it takes out any nasties, any bacteria, um, and even before the three stage filter, I'm gonna put a spin down filter on it. If you know what this sort of stuff is, then fine. If not, you know, keep an eye out for my video when it comes up and I'll go through the whole process. There's a lot of people doing these recycling showers on YouTube, but those that, you know, they, everybody's got a different way where they put the water pump. Some have two water pumps and, you know, I, you know, I've, I've played with this idea in my head, put it down on paper several times and I know exactly how I'm going to do mine and I'm going to lay it in such a simple way so everybody can see how it's fitted in my van because once I've fitted it in the van and try to explain it oh you know this is what a lot of people do it's a nightmare so what I'm going to do I'm going to give all get all the parts lay it out from start to finish and show you exactly and explain each item as I do it 
So yeah, so that's gonna sh that's gonna solve my showering problem. Um, kitchen's gonna be quite a big kitchen, uh, big bigish. I'm going for a full size, um, or maybe an on the counter, maybe a little bit bigger fridge. Now that's gonna be one of these Inlander a company called Inlander convert household fridges to 12 volt. So I'll be using one of them. I will have an oven, gas oven, and also I'm going to have a low wattage or low power microwave in there as well. Uh, the sink is going to be like 440 by 440, and it's got I've got one of those shower taps that um, you can pull out and shower off the bits and pieces as well in the sink, and a two hob gas burner. I'm going for a 125 litre freshwater tank and alongside that freshwater tank I will also have a drinking water tank. Now the drinking water tank will be purified water and that will come straight from a bottle and it'll be a tank just under my sink which will lead up with a submersible pump lead up into the sink. I was going to go for a super king size bed in the van but you know it's a little bit overkill like my current van I'm going to stick with and go with a king size bed so chances are when I sell my van uh, Covey the one I've got at the moment I might even sell that van without the mattress in it um, because I don't know about you or anybody else I do like to have my own mattress I don't like to share so I don't like to share my mattress hmm. that's debatable but we're not getting onto that I don't I'm not one, if I go out and buy a mattress, I never buy a second hand mattress. So why would anybody buy my van with a mattress that I've used? So I don't know. We'll see, some people do, some people don't. It's to each person's preference. If it's not sold before I've built mine, I hope it's not, because I'll have nothing to use. Then we'll see, but that's debatable. So yeah, it's, I'm very excited, very excited. Um, so as you saw earlier, the bus seats are all taken out. The only seat left in there is the driver's seat. And even that's gonna be going. And I've got some nice Saab convertible seats with integrated seat belts going in there. So it's all very exciting, looking all very good. Um, one good thing about the bus, it's got air conditioning. Um, it's got an Urbis Basher heater. Now, I don't know if anybody knows about these buses. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a fault with the heater because you turn the bus on and the heater comes on straight away. You can't even turn it off unless you turn the engine off. And again, the problem with it is the air conditioning and the heater will only work when the engine's running. So I need to rewire all that so I can use it when the bus isn't running. There's lots of work to do on it. Um, I've also got some window tint to do. I'm gonna have a go at that myself so you can watch and um, I'm gonna put out a video on that. I mean, they're all flat windows, so I'm presuming it's gonna be quite easy. And I'm one of these, I like to have a go at something. And like most people, I've watched hundreds of t tutorials. Um, yeah, I've even been looking at paint already because it's gonna be repainted and it's gonna be a different color. Now, I'm not going to tell you what colour. Leave in the comments below what colour you think I'm going to go for for that bus. And I want to see if anybody can get this right. Um, think about me, think about the vehicles I've worked on, think about everything. Um, and even the clothes wear anything. Put your colour in the comments below on this video and if you get it right, I'll send you a free sticker. I will. I won't even charge for postage. I'll send you out one of my free stickers. It's only the logo, little logo built on all canvas stickers. Um, now I haven't advertised it as merchandise because I'm not gonna be merchandising my business right now or anything like that. If somebody wanted a hoodie or a t-shirt or something when, cause I am getting them done, then fine, you know, we'll sort that out but I'm not going to push it because I'm not after anyone's money I'm not you know I'm literally doing this because I love it eventually it will come become my I mean building the man is my full-time job and no doubt YouTube will become part of that at some point but at 
the moment or anything like that. I'm not interested in the Patreon thing. I don't want your money. I want your viewing hours. I want you to watch me, watch what I do. Take from it, you know, create something for yourself. Tell me about it. Um, it's when you, it, I, and I will say this now, I want to thank all my subscribers from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and for some of the lovely comments that I've been getting. I've been getting some amazing comments and I love it. It's, you know, the fact that I know you're out there watching what I'm doing right now and appreciating what I do, listening to what I do and following me along, part of my life. It's, it, it's a big thing for me. And I've made some great friends in this lifestyle. I'm not gonna deny it. And friends that are gonna be friends for life. And, you know, one day I hope to meet you. You're, you're my subscribers. You're the ones that, you know, motivate me to do this. So if you're out and about anywhere and I'm out and about anywhere and you know where I'm gonna be, come and find me. I mean, like, um, today's Sunday for you. It's not Sunday for me, but it's Sunday for you. So next weekend, I'll be at Stratford and Avon Racecourse, the International Camper Van and Overlander Show, which I've already said. Again, my bus will be out there. Um, and you shouldn't be able to miss it. You've seen the color of it. And on the side of my bus, I will have some big built, not bought campers, follow us on YouTube um, signs. Now, at the moment, they're on the side of this, what I'm driving. So yeah, so have a look for my bus, come and say hello. If you watch my channel, definitely come and say hello. And if you're there and you know you come and see me, I'll give you a sticker. Do you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's not a lot. A sticker's a sticker, but you know, it's a freebie. And if you want a sticker, come and ask me. Even if you don't subscribe, I'll give you a sticker. I'm not selling them, I'm giving them away. So for the moment, why they're being given away, I'll give them away. I can't post them, everybody a sticker. But if you come to the Camper Van International Camper Van Show, come up to me and say, Oi, I want a sticker. I'll give you a sticker. Um, have a chat, I'll have a coffee with you. I'll make you a cup of coffee if I'm by the van. Or a cup of tea, whatever your tipple is. And, um, but for this video, if you can guess what color my van is going to be, my new van, I'll send you a sticker. So yeah, anyway, I've been waffling on about becoming a full-time van life for quite a while now. Oh, I need to drink my coffee, it's going to go cold. I've usually drunk it by now. So yeah, as you can probably guess, I'm quite excited about this sort of huge change in my life. Massive change. And um, again, being a YouTuber, I will take you along for the ride. Wherever I go, you'll come with me. It's like now. I'm not even in my camper van, but you're coming with me for the journey. Nothing exciting, but you know, I'm having a chat to you while I'm driving. It's better than sitting here bored on my own. Could be listening to music. Uh, I'd rather talk to you. So yeah, hopefully I'll meet one or two of you next weekend. Really, that, but you know, that'd be really sort of, that'd be pucker, would be. And then put some names to face, faces, names to faces or names to comments, whichever way you want to put it. But yeah, anyway, that's enough of this vlog for today. It's mainly about me being a full-time van lifer. Anyway, leave the comments below let me know what you think if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so it doesn't cost anything um, your support means the most to me and it's not a financial support it's literally just a click of a button hit the notification bell so you know when I become videos I always post content every Thursday without fail um, it nearly never went out yeah, was it today Oh, in fact, one's due out shortly. Um, I was editing and rendering and sorting that video out at sort of half past two this morning because I had trouble with my software. But that's another story. So yeah, every Thursday I put out a video and at the moment it's every Sunday. 
so I'm aiming to get out two videos a week but I can always guarantee the Thursdays but it may not always be a Sunday so today's Sunday you're obviously watching it today but again please subscribe um, keep an eye out for videos every Thursday and Sunday and you know it's I'll try to mix it up a little bit give you some quick tips give you some personal vlogs give you some van builds I'll be doing I've got a video coming up soon I put in two roof vents and two windows for a guy so all this is coming up um, so it's all exciting stuff and we've got also obviously van builds going galore we've got the horse box we've got the crafter we've got the traffic um, we're finishing off Covey which you've seen the paint job we've got my new bus which is again is another Iveco and I've got the Toyota High Ace so there's always loads going on plenty of content Luke from Luke's Van Life comes over to the workshop now and again um, you'll see me and him together at the workshop doing bits and pieces on his Fiat Ducato are you look how you doing mate um, I hope you're getting things sorted still and you've been a bit quiet on the group chat but you know it's and I'm looking to get more YouTubers to come to the workshop at some point so that's something else and no doubt I'll have a chat with a few at the weekend when because I think they've got a YouTubers village at the camper van show so I might even see if I can invite one or two down to come to the workshop do a bit of work on their vans and have a coffee maybe a bit of a barbecue especially since we're getting nice and weather but that's enough for me waffling now anyway most of all thank you thank you deeply thank you and I hope you're all staying safe, staying very, very well, and most of all, staying happy. Please stay happy, be happy. It's a lot less energy to stay happy. So that's my lot for today, and hopefully I'll see you next weekend. Bye for now.